sprechen und die Crew kontaktieren, bitte tragen Sie immer eine Maske. Herzlichen Dank dafür. Very important advice, ladies and gentlemen. It's necessary. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to do an interesting experiment and that is testing the Huawei smartwatch to the limits. As you can see I am at Belgrade airport ready to take off and what I wanted to test is the accuracy of the watch when measuring the altitude. Currently we are on the ground and it is showing around 95 meters above the sea. As you can see when we started to take off it started raising from around 50 meter but very slowly. I was expecting faster growth in the altitude. After around 2 minutes of the flight it was showing altitude above 200 meters which for me seemed wrong. Then you can see the time lapse starting at around 300 meters and after 5 minutes of the flight it was close to 900 meters which was looking more accurate but still small. After a couple more minutes you can see it reached 1400 meters and finally after 15 minutes of the flight it was showing close to 2 kilometers as you can see here. Now this looks more realistic but how close it is to the real altitude. This model of aircraft did not have a display so I was not sure at which altitude the aircraft was cruising. In the second part of this video I was flying with another aircraft so you will see there what was the difference between the watch altitude information and the aircraft elevation information. As you can see we were above the clouds and it was showing a max of 2.4 km elevation. By the look from the window at the mountains and the clouds it looks to be much higher than 2.4 kilometers. After 40 minutes of the flight the max elevation was still 2.4 kilometers. And after one hour of flight we started descending and preparing for the next flight where we will be able to compare the watch altitude with the real altitude showing from the aircraft display. Here you can see a couple of details while descending, it was really interesting to follow how the elevation is dropping but it seemed to me that it is dropping too fast as we were still above the clouds and it was showing 400 meters altitude and falling to 350 meters as we were slowly entering the clouds. Again there is a quick time lapse while we were landing at the Frankfurt airport and as you can see towards the end elevation went into negative numbers which clearly was not true. However after we landed the watch was calibrated and showed 28 meters above the sea level at the airport. Now we are ready to take off again but with a much bigger airplane which goes higher as the next trip was around 6 hours long. And we had the display so we can compare the accuracy of the watch. Again at around 400 meters high we were above the clouds but this time we can compare it with the aircraft elevation. So the watch is showing around 550 meters and the aircraft is showing around 11,000 feet which is 3,350 meters so now we have a huge difference. We were still rising and as the watch showed around 1.2 kilometer elevation the display was showing 22,000 feet which is around 6.7 kilometers so now the difference was even bigger. After some time passed the aircraft was showing 9.6 kilometers while the watch was still less than 2 kilometers. Finally at 12 km above the sea the smartwatch was still at 1.8 km altitude so this clearly shows that the smartwatch is not calibrated for such high elevation measurements. In the end enjoy the night landing at beautiful Abu Dhabi and until next time Assalamu Alaikum may peace be upon you.